Good morning and welcome to Tech Coach Corner, a YouTube series presented by Dino. My name is Tira Lustig. I'm on the marketing team here at Dino and I will be your host for this series. Um, this series is an extension of our Tackling Tech podcast where we will dive deeper into tactics and strategies talked about on the podcast with tech coaches so that you can implement these tactics in your school or district. Remember to subscribe, comment, uh, make sure you're subscribing so that you can get notified whenever we post new videos. We'll be posting these videos every Thursday. We might post more frequently if we have some great conversations, but we can't wait for you to get some great tactics in Tech Coach Corner. So remember to subscribe. Today we have a great episode with Eric Geis on uh, how to use digital badge systems for professional development. So check it out. Today, I am joined by Eric Geis, a media specialist and tech coach at Hopewell Valley Central High School. Um, Eric, do you want to give a brief introduction to yourself? Yeah, I'm, I'm a media and tech specialist from Hopewell. I'm also teaching biology again this year, so I'm pretty excited about that. I'm a dad, a husband. I have three kids, uh, three boys, all under the age of five, uh, Bo, Boone, and Briggs, so um, surviving. COVID, um, learning how to better my practice in any remote learning atmosphere. I'm sure that's a lot to handle uh, during the whole remote learning, having all of that going on at home while still managing remote work and all of that. Um, so Eric has worked with us in the past with the Tackling Tech podcast, as well as our remote learning summit. On the Tackling Tech podcast episode that we did with Eric, um, you talked a lot about using digital badge systems for flexible PD for teachers. Could you talk a little bit about how you actually created that badge system, what it looks like, and how teachers can complete professional development through the badge system? Yeah, absolutely. First off, it was a team effort. Uh, we have a couple different uh, tech coaches. We have a very tech-centric administration. Uh, we have an assistant superintendent that is very uh, involved in our, our tech implementation. So I will say that it was a great big group effort and it first started when we had to identify some of our barriers of our current uh, professional development at the time. So what we did is we looked at some of the barriers that teachers uh, kind of brought up such as they don't have the time for the professional development, they're not interested uh, in the topics or they're not relevant or they don't apply. Uh, there's a cost to them. It's not personalized enough. It doesn't meet school goals. And really what we did is we sat down, brainstormed, and we wanted to make a system that kind of wiped out those barriers. It, it, it tackled each one. So we tackled each barriers with tech, which is kind of the theme to all this, right? So for time, we wanted to make sure that they could do these professional developments asynchronously or synchronously. Um, we wanna make sure that they have choice. A lot of times we make professional developments telling uh, teachers, you have to give your students choice. Well, this is a way for us to do the same thing. Uh, we gave them plenty of choice. Didn't cost anything because the tech apps that we're uh, throwing out as badges, uh, they are also you know, if we're already using them, it's not going to cost us anything. It's personalized because these are the tech uh, tools that they wanted to see. And it does meet the school goals because we are a one-to-one -one blended learning type community. So this does fit that. So what is the badge system? They uh, Teachers get to look at different types of technology that the uh, school has purchased and we support. Uh, they look at little brief uh, outlines or background information on each tool. They select a couple of them that they want to do throughout the year. And they put in an application showing how they did it or how they integrated this piece of technology. In return, they get a uh, digital badge that they could put on their Twitter, their email, on their door if they want to print them out, those types of things. And if they do four of them a year, they get the last half day professional development day off. So they can just leave after the half day. So there's incentive there. So your next part was how did we make it? And we did everything in G Suite. We're not, you can go out and you can pay for these digital badge systems and it's going to cost some money. It's a subscription base or, and they're, they're awesome, but it's going to cost you money. 
So what we did is we developed a site, um, a Google site to hold as our platform. And this Google site held all of our badges. So a slide deck of badges, it held the application, um, our approved tech list. So we wanna make sure that we communicate which pieces of tech are approved by the district that teachers can use and all our tech competencies. And for us, one of these tech competencies is the uh, framework that we use to support how we bring technology into the classroom. And that is the technology integration matrix, which uh, I think you and I will talk about in more detail um, later on. So the other pieces of G Suite that we use to run this are slides, which that gives the background information for each of the ed tech presentations. We have forms, which is our application. So after the teachers investigated that piece of technology and planned and implemented it into the classroom, they can apply for a badge using forms. And really that's just asking them to reflect on their experience, how they implemented it into the classroom to enhance student learning. Uh, lastly, we have them go to uh, Gmail and this is how we do feedback back and forth. So after the tech coaches receive the application, they're able to go, um, the tech coaches can go in, review the application, provide them with feedback, and then send out their digital badge through Gmail. Uh, how do we make the badges? We use drawings or I cheat and I use Canva. So uh, that's really what's there. But the tech integration um, matrix is a huge portion of this. It's our backbone. But really at the end of the day, what do we want our teachers to get out of this? We want them to be able to do a couple of different actions. We want them to uh, choose what they wanna learn about. We want them to investigate. So this is the same stuff that we asked our, our students. Um, we want them to brainstorm how they would use it, plan out how they would use it, implement it into the classroom, reflect on it, and then um, basically take the feedback and their reflections and learn how to take that piece of technology to the next level and make it become more student-centered than what they originally used it in the classroom. I love that. Yeah, I love the idea of incentivizing them to complete these on their own as well as making it more accessible and giving them choice into what professional development they can do. Um, and I also love, I know you talked about it on the podcast episode too, but giving them incentive to try it out in the classroom and show how they would apply it so that they're not just learning it, but they're using it finding ways that they can use it. So I think creating the digital badge system is really effective, especially during this time of remote learning when you can't necessarily facilitate larger PD or, or big uh, PD training sessions. So I think that's a great idea that any tech coaches should um, try to implement in their district. Like you said, it's free, so it's a great way to do it. Um, Eric, I know you have your own podcast, other channels that you use. Do you wanna plug any of those for our audience to engage with you on? Absolutely. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at, got, at Guy Scott Tech. So that's G U I S E G O T T E C H E D. Um, the podcast that my buddy and I, Nick, uh, run is called Got Tech, the podcast. And that's found on any major uh, podcast player or platform. And uh, we're just now starting to kick it into a YouTube series as well. So we're pretty excited about that. Lastly, you can follow us. Uh, if you want any of this information, you can go to our website at www.gottech.com. Awesome. Well, thank you for joining us today. We will link all of that below as well. Please subscribe to the uh, Tech Coach Corner series on YouTube as well as our Dino YouTube um, to receive updates when we post new episodes. So thank you so much for being with us today, Eric. Thanks for having me.